hello friends uh, welcome once again in another episode of trigonometry in this video I'm just going to solve a question uh, the question is in a triangle ABC right angle at A if AB equals to B AC equals to 12 BC equals to 13 find sine B cos C and tan B okay so uh, before proceeding uh, first we have to draw a right angle right so I'm just drawing a right angle suppose this is our right angle and as the question has said that the right angle at B so first I have to draw this is the right angle right so it must be A now we can give anyone B or anyone C okay so AB equals to 5 this is equals to 5 this is equals to 5 BC is and AC equals to 12 this AC equals to 12 okay this is 12 right and BC equals to 13 so this is 13 right now we have to first uh, first one is sine B right let's first find sine B first sine B so sine B means it has taken the angle B right this angle it has taken right let me change the color that will be more clear right it has taken this angle now see this red one is the angle so again for this sine B situation right for this situation what is the perpendicular and what is the hypotenuse and what is the base we have to find out first right so here hypotenuse H is which one is H this BC H is again everywhere it is 13 and the perpendicular P is just opposite of the angle right just opposite is the AC so now AC is opposite that's 12 right and the base in which it is seated now this is this angle B is seated on the line AB so that's why that's the base that is 5 right so now we can easily find out the sine B so sine B will be again we know the formula that's some people have right so some people some people have sine B equals to P by H right and we have find out now the P is 12 right and H is all uh, as usual it's 13 the value of H never changes in a triangle in a particular triangle but the value of P and B may changes that we are just going to solve that right that's sin b right now sin b uh, we are being able to find out and again tan b because i am not finding out now cos c because it is on the reference of the angle c but now we are taking the reference angle b right so both sin b and sin b see here so that's why i'm first doing sin b another sorry uh, it's tan b first I i'm going to do tan b tan b for tan b the ratios means the hypotenuse is perpendicular and the base will be the same right so what is the formula of sin b tan b tan b we all know tan b that's tan b equals to again b upon p and for b angle p is the 12 right and b is the base that's 5 right so now for the angle B we have measured now it is with the reference angle C that's third one is that's cos C not the tan C it's cos C is cos C right for the cos C means the angle is this one right now right for this angle the angle the means the, uh, the side in which the angle base right and the side in which the angle seat now it is seated in the side AC that's why base B for this C is 12 right for this it is seated on this AC that's why and just opposite to the angle is the perpendicular for that perpendicular here is the 5 for C angle when we take the reference of the angle C perpendicular is 5 right so again let's do cos C will be equals to base to the 
hypotenuse right we know that some that some people have right some people have curly brown hair right those perform best we know that formula right so I'm just using that formula so cos C is the B upon H and what's the value of B and for this C value of B is the 12 and value of hypotenuse is the same that's 12 like this we have to do the simple simple questions right so we should uh, understand every time to take which one as a perpendicular which one as a base right and uh, uh, hypotenuse is the same for a triangle right like this we will be doing right so first thing is that we should know the uh, uh, means that we should be able to find out the perpendicular and the base so let's let me do an example here suppose friend I'm just taking this theta so what will be the perpendicular of course just opposite to the angle will be perpendicular this one will be the perpendicular and the theta is seated on this base in this side right uh, let me do with another color uh, right this now it is seated on this side that's why this will be base and hypotenuse is al always the longest one we know that right always it's longest one so suppose I'm now making another right angle triangle suppose this is right angle at this and I'm taking this triangle so what will be the P B can you tell me guess it right suppose I'm taking the reference of this angle so the angle is this then the opposite side will be always perpendicular and angle in uh, the uh, the side in which the angle seat is the base always right for now this is base now for this suppose I'm drawing another triangle this is right angle at here and this is suppose alpha so for sine alpha uh, sorry means uh, for the value of alpha what is the perpendicular if we are taking the reference of angle this so perpendicular will be of course this one just opposite of this is the perpendicular and the base in which it's seat right this is the base because the side in which the angle seat is the base so like this you should be able to find out the base perpendicular right and always hypotenuse is the same we don't have to tell uh, right I don't have to tell it many times we have learned previously also so uh, we are now perfect to find out the perpendicular and the base and don't forget that formula right what was that formula Luther uh, had right Luther had some books of personality this is the formula to do such kinds of some personality it means L is the longest this H represents H right another S and this book B another O and another P right so what is the meaning are you getting my points previously we have learned right yeah the longest part of the triangle is the hypotenuse right this is the longest part that's why it's hypotenuse seat of the angle is the base see seat of the angle this is the seat so that's why this is the base right and opposite of the angle means opposite of the angle is the perpendicular right so opposite of the angle is the perpendicular so you should know this Luther had some Luther had some special books of personality here Luther uh, I'm just uh, taking the example of Martin Luther King so <laughs> uh, don't confuse right it's just an example uh, okay because he's so famous so I think uh, it will be easier to re remember us right every time so keep this formula in mind and do such kinds of problem as much as you can do uh, and we'll be doing also in workout example section okay thank you uh, skying blogger is now just taking a leave right uh, for a small time okay bye we'll meet you in next video